So, as I explained before, <coughs> uh, there are two terms in yoga, karma and kriya. Something done unconsciously, mechanically is karma as we mentioned before. Kriya is a cleansing process. You do it consciously to remove the toxins from your body, to clean your body and also the emotional, psychological blockages. If you feel intensely angry, jealousy, hatred, envy, any of these negative feelings, also if you feel very excited, you got, uh, you won lottery and you feel highly excited, then these emotions, intense emotions get stored either in your chest area or in your navel area, two places. So, two kriyas based on breath work. If you want to clean the emotional body, you need to work on your breath, on your prana energy because when you feel intense fear or anger, where do you feel? You feel in your belly, stomach, you feel sick, I am sick in my stomach. So, they get stored there. Yogis have created techniques, methodology to clean that area. Either you do noli, agnisara, something you have to move in your navel area. Other kriyas, very powerful, very strong, very intense breath work, it is called kapalabhati. But these days, there is a general misunderstanding that kapalabhati is a pranayam. If you do it very slowly, rhythmic, then it can be pranayam. If somebody is very sick and doing it in a very slow pace, one breath per second, then it can be called pranayam. But basically, according to the traditional scriptures we have, Hatha Yoga Pradipika, Gherand Sanghita, Shiv Sanghita, according to these literatures, Kapalabhati is a Kriya. It is a part of Shat Karma, where all these intense therapeutic cleansing processes are mentioned. So, Kapalabhati is fast, chaotic, unrhythmic exhale. You just go on exhaling, 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 inhale happens by itself and you do it so fast that your mind does not have control over it. And at that point, if you can do it for 5 to 10 minutes or you will feel the, all the stored feelings in your navel, in your lungs, they start coming up. And then yoga has some processes, singhasana or other processes where you can release those feelings, like when you have heated up the uh, pressure cooker and you can take the lid off and then everything is coming out and you watch the steam coming out. So, this is the process of cleaning your emotional body. <coughs>